Hey class, it's Mrs. Gilling here, and I am going to be your all criminal justice teacher this quarter, and I'm super excited about it. It says U.S. criminal justice. I don't know if that's in the course, but we are talking about the stuff in the United States. So I am your criminal justice teacher this quarter. Before I let you know about the course, I want to let you know about me. So this is myself and my husband, Ethan. We were at Wahoo's in this picture. Don't know if you've ever been there, but we've been married for almost nine years. Yeah, we're getting there. And we really enjoy spending time together. We like being outside. We just got some kayaks. We think those are really fun to paddle around. We have a little paddle board. Those are cool. We like to play games together. We really love watching college football together. That is our favorite. Go Cougars. We, wrote, we root for the BYU Cougars. And that's because I actually went to BYU. I graduated in 2014 with my degree in teaching social sciences. Well, I love teaching social studies to you guys. So that's a little about me and about my husband. Here's our four kiddos. So we have Taylor. She's the oldest. She's seven. And she just started the second grade and she's playing soccer and she's really good at that. And she really likes that. And she loves all things girly. She likes to do her hair and paint her nails and, and all that fun stuff. This is our second daughter, Skylar. She just started kindergarten. Fun fact, she woke up at 5.30 a.m. on the first day of kindergarten, begging to go to the bus stop. And the bus doesn't get there till like 7.15, 7.20. So we had to let her down softly and let her know it just wasn't quite time. Other fun fact, the first thing she said after getting off the bus on the first day of school was, I'm starving. So apparently kindergarten's pretty rough nowadays. But she's hilarious, very funny, very clever, super fun kid to have around. Next on the lineup is our third daughter, Parker. She is three. She is a snuggler. I love that. And she lost her two bottom teeth when she was younger. So when she smiles, she has this little gap. And this one time, she was she saw a bald man. And she went up to the bald man and she said, I like your hair. And she was 100% sincere in that. So very complimentary, <laughs> even when it doesn't make sense. But that's Parker. And we love her. And then this is our little guy, Hunter. He is almost 16 months old now. He loves his sisters. He loves to pal around with them. He likes to make you laugh. And one of our favorite things to do is to hide around the corner. And when he runs past us, we go, boo. And he goes, and then he just laughs and gives you a big hug. So it's pretty, pretty awesome. One more member of our family. This is Heidi, a.k.a. Princess Poodle Pants. Now, I don't know how elegant she is because she likes to come up to you and go burp in your face. I've never met a dog before that burps, but she does. So, I don't know. Pretty cool. We'll keep her around. And she's really great with the kids. She lets them climb all over her and she doesn't care at all. So, that's my family. Let me tell you a little bit about the course. So, the first thing we've got in the course are checkpoints. And they're worth 25%. These are found at the end of about half the lessons. They help you make sure you're understanding the material. Now, there's no tests in this alt section of criminal justice. And so really these checkpoints kind of serve as the test. So I really want to make sure that you're doing a good job on them. You do get three attempts on them. So don't, don't stop after one if you didn't get the grade you wanted. Keep going. You'll go back, review the information, come take it again. If you still didn't get it, go back, review the information, take it one more time. So they are worth 25%, like I said. So it is really, really important that you're, you're doing your best on those checkpoints. There's discussions, there's nine of them in the course, and they give you a chance to write about things you are learning about. So please refer to the discussion rubric for more information. The biggest thing you need to make sure, you know, you're writing complete sentences, that you write at least three sentences, that you're answering the, the prompt, that you're using details from the course to answer the prompt. Those are just a few things. But again, um, there'll be rubrics there to help guide you. Just really important to, to don't skip those. If you do, for some reason, not get enough points on it, you know, if I leave you some feedback and say, hey, you know, you're off to a good start, but make sure to fix this or this. If you fix those things, um, repost again, let me know, and, and I'll update your grade. So you can redo those for sure. Focus notes. Everybody loves focus notes, right? I do. Focus notes are a little bit different in this course. So, and we'll, we'll have a whole video assignment dedicated to them. But there's focus notes in lessons 2, 9, 14, and 20. And there's these things in this course called enrichment lessons where you, you have to do a little bit of research on your own. They give you a topic like um, driving consequences. And there's you have to do some research on the state of Idaho and what the different rules are for driving. And you'll use your focus note sheets to take the notes that you did on your research there. So they're actually kind of fun and they're kind of useful and you learn a lot by doing them. And there's only four of them, so it's not super overwhelming, but they are worth 15% of your grade. And then the last thing, there's not a whole 
bunch of assignment types in this course. Actually, there's one more after this. Um, there's there's projects. So there's two projects in the course that involve you watching a series of videos that tells a story about an arson investigation. So there's there's this kid named Jordan and one named Christina, and they're telling you about this thing that happened. And you kind of have to walk along with them and, and figure out how to investigate this crime. It's kind of fun. So you put yourself in the shoes of an investigator. There are two parts to that. So there's one project that you'll turn in in lesson eight, and then there's another one that you'll turn in at the end in the last unit there. So pretty fun stuff. You you can redo these as well. You get up to three attempts. So if you're not getting the score you want, then do it again. And then the last thing is, is video assignments. Uh, video assignments are throughout the course and they help you with certain assignments. So they're, like I said, there's one for the focus notes. They have them for the projects. This right here is actually your first video assignment, watching this and answering some short questions. So they're worth 10%. Honestly, they're pretty easy points. So don't skip out on these. Plus, you're going to want that, that instruction that I'm giving you. So they're pretty important. So how can you get a hold of me? Because I want you to. If you have questions in the course, reach out to me. If there's something cool you learned about crime or whatnot, Shoot, send it to me. I'll listen. I'll hear about it. I'm into that. So here's how you can get a hold of me. You can call me. I know most people don't call anymore, but you can totally call me. I don't mind. You can text me. Texting's cool. You can send me an email. You can Google chat. That's like an IM, and it's pretty easy to use. Just go to your Gmail, your school Gmail. There's like a chat bar on the side with a plus button. You push the plus button, put in my name, and it'll pop up, and you can send me a message. I have a live office hour where you can come to my virtual office. We can meet face-to-face -face on the virtual office. It's from on Tuesdays from 8.15 to 9.15. So if you, you have need help with that, you can refer to the contact announcement in the course, and that has information on how you can reach me there. And if that time doesn't work for you and you still feel like you need some face-to-face -face help, let me know. We can schedule another time. And then carrier pigeons. Maybe not that one. All right, so now it's time for you to complete your first video assignment. So what you're going to do, you're going to send me a Google chat message with your preferred name. So for instance, if it says on my records that your name is Jonathan, but you go by John, that let me know. Be like, I, I prefer John. Um, if you don't have any particular thing, just say what you like to go by most. So for instance, my first name is Susan. That's what I go by. So I would say Susan's my preferred name. And then let me know your favorite hobby because I want to get to know you a little bit. And then after you send that I am, complete the quiz. So disclaimer, the quiz question is going to be, did you send Mrs. Gilling the I am with the required information? And then at the end, I say, I will be checking. So please be honest with that because I will check and just, just do it because it's a great way to get in touch with me. All right, guys. Well, I'm excited to be your teacher this in this quarter. And if there's anything I can do for you, please reach out and let me know. Have a good one.